everybody good evening good afternoon good morning wherever you're watching me from it's your girl Suzanne you're welcome to my youtube channel Suzanne Herbert Tips so I give to some medicinal plants and living the healthy lifestyle my old subscribers and my new subscribers Thank you for being part of this amazing family and for those of you who never subscribe what are you still waiting for? Subscription are free. The only thing you just need to do now to click on that subscription button, you can go on the notification bell so that anytime I take drop any of my video, you go there among the first people who will go see my video. Yes, today I won't talk about hormone imbalance. Yes, I won't give us about 10 to 15 signs where your body will give you, you will not know that something is wrong with your hormone number one are irregular period yes when your periods are irregular there is cause for alarm go and see your doctor no thing say ah now so you've been aside the same you will just the months you never even approach menopause you will just the months six months seven months even years you know go menstruate some people go ask me women go just stay for years they don't go menstruate yes a 20 30 year old woman can stay for like six seven eight years you know go menstruate yes it's the hormones that is messing her system up go and see your doctor even if you don't want to have children even if you don't want to have a, 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 your biological children you have to make sure your hormones are balanced because they are not okay then number two is infertility yes you go to look for picking you know go see doctor will say you go you go only you go track your your ovulation period you go know when you want a menstruation you go they do everything but at the end of the day the pregnancy is not for coming go and check your hormone yes you go for hormone profile test they can be able to tell you which of the hormones are not balanced and you'll be able to balance them then number three for my list now hot flashes yes for nights you go just to sleep you go to sweat you know whenever you're sleeping you they experience this heat yes this heat and you're sweating yes that must be sign of say maybe your hormone in you know, balance then these hormones will not balance so if it be say now your uh, testosterone or your estrogen now right, they a little bit low of which can be corrected let me repeat when you're suffering from these hot flashes and sweating at night if it be seen that your te te testosterone or your estrogen now you know they balance then they a little bit low so you can always balance it it's very very easy to balance go and seek for help from your doctor you know this uh, hormonal imbalance you know say if you are frequent on my live stream i did talk um, uh, most of the time saying i'm waiting really worry me i didn't really know what was going on with me my hormones were really messing up with my system my my muscles come the weak i don't even feel whole something strong you know my masses were now weak body go they pay me you know until they can't find that say now hormonal imbalance before before i can't balance them i be talking about maybe seven eight years ago you know then another one is hormonal acne that's pimples we go just they only here and your neck and your body region yes now hormone they cause most of them you know for all these hormone uh, uh, symptoms where i want to bring out today if first tb say you they suffer one or two or three of this same uh, for this same topic go and see the doctor even if now one of them go see your doctor make your doctor tell you say this now the hormone will not balance your body then let's balance it okay then excess hair grow yes woman who just they grow hair for for here you know not be waiting normal some women will just say ah, i did hear you then go the picker now 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 waiting on normal you know normal make woman they make woman they grow beers but if you can't see you find yourself for that category say you they grow breast your beers you they always they pick them out all the time yes go and see your endocrine doctor those are specialists for hormone problem they can be able to tell you how you can be able to balance it and another one uh, persistent weight gain you know when we say you they eat well oh, waiting everybody go eat you go eat them your own will make you blow you go just the gain weight anyhow you don't know what's in the happen you will come the you come the feel say maybe you did depressed maybe you're eating or is but within you you know you are not eating people will be thinking you're eating but you know that you're not eating you just the uh, gain weight anyhow weight anyhow yes nasty hormonal 
imbalance now in the course eh, some of those kind of things wrong go and see your doctor before you go continue to something else you know another one a mood swing yes that one the apple where we among eh, women even men but women especially that period of the month will be say our period they come that time a lot of hormones they active we will just stay happy now now before you know them, we don't we don't we don't vest even if not be during our period you get that hormones way be say when you go high for your body when you go you go don't they misbehave for your body person not go feel predict you again no 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 you be happy before before you know them, anger don't come you don't vest even your whole husband no go even recognize you again you know so go and check go and seek the help of a medical uh, personnel for them to tell you uh, what you are going through and the other one for my list now low libido yes low libido means say you know they get that urge for sexual things again you don't just want to have a uh, sex you not just want them at all no be say maybe uh, you know some people go just dinner they go day honey they go say maybe the man but because of say i day honey make i just do one no that hurt you not just day at all or you won't do them, you know they feel calm. Maybe they make you not get that urge. No, nothing like that. Your libido just they it they roll for ground. You know, you don't get anywhere at all. Hormones they cause them. When your libido is like that, that you don't even have any urge for sexual thing at all. You they look you they look sex like saying I'm waiting na na your enemy na poison. Yes, hormonal imbalance they cause some of those things. Insomnia now the next one. Waiting be insomnia, say you know they feel sleep. For night, night will come. You go roll, 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 roll. They will break hormonal imbalance to the cousin. All these things where they talk, not be waiting a day out of this world. Though. No, now waiting you will feel correct if only you seek the help of uh, a doctor. We will tell you, say, yes, this is the, the hormones that you are supposed to balance in your body, and you go see them. Everything will be will very, very okay, you know. The next one for my for my for my list na hair lost. Your hair go just the carry the pool. You know? You 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 be person will get hair before before you know what thing they happen, the hair don't they lose weight. Even if the hair is still there, it, it not come thick as it takes thick before it come over light and still hormonal imbalance. These things I'm saying, if you leave them untreated, it can lead to something else. You know, like like I said on one of my live stream, some women, they a lot of women don't know say the the cause of their barrenness na hormonal problem. They will just feel say ah they don't they barren, but they don't go no say na hormone problem na in cousin. Sure, I get what I did talk. When you get when you get the right hormone checked, balance, you will see the way everything will be going on. Don't just sit down and say ah. It's normal. I beg. As far as I say, I don't get pains. As far as I say, no be waiting go kill me. It can lead to different thing. It can lead to different thing. So that is why I always urge my people to go seek a medical uh, attention. Then the next one for my for my list na pelvic pain. Na no wait where the pelvic pain now. Our our waist region. Yes, the kind of pain where you go to get there as a woman. You know you know normal. Some hormones they cause some, some like infection. Make I explain. Maybe you they you not be say a uh, painful sex now. Say uh, if they want penetrate, maybe the place dry or maybe na kiss you get for the way they will feel correct surgically. No, not be that one. Any time when they take penetrate you, the the kind of pain go just it go make it go just disorganize your body. Yes, hormone problem still the cause something like that go and check it out it will not cost anything for you to check out your hormones you know so another one now very heavy period this heavy period where they talk so if it lasts for weeks you know say we women now when our period they come the first second day it go heavy the third day maybe the fourth day you can the same as most people say they come no not be that type it goes all heavy from the one till it goes stop yes now hormonal problem then they cause uh, something like that chronic fatigue yes i think this should be the last one on my on my list chronic fatigue any time at all you stand up you sleep up you sit down 
you just wake up oh, you are always tired now that category now in my own day that time i they always they feel tired when i sit down to even get up safe now wahala you know when you when you find out that you are always tired eh, eh, if it just be saying a vitamin d you know to take her from sun alone no it did okay but it no rich make we try take uh, things we will, go, we will forget uh, that if not vitamin d i'm just saying uh -huh, nah, because that i nah, waited they tell me for my own if not that one you can just say okay let me be eating this or you go for supplement you know so my people when i know say they always they talk and for my video don't auto diagnose don't auto medicate always seek the help of a doctor remember health is wealth i see you all in my next video Bye-bye.